Hi moms and dads, when you think of your kitchen, what comes to mind? The cooking, the cleaning, the craziness, right? Well, it should come as no surprise then that a lot of common and serious household injuries happen in the kitchen. Today, Holly shows us how we can prevent fires and burns in the most popular room in the house. My family and I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but between the stove, the hot pans, and the boiling water, it's a scary place for kids. So I invited burn expert Kirsten Balding into my home to help me learn how to keep my kids safe and maybe learn how to cook a little bit. <laughs> Is that yeah. too much to ask? That's probably too much to ask. Kids are fast, kids are unpredictable, and it's up to parents to keep our kids safe in the kitchen. So that's our goal is to see what we can do to prevent those injuries from occurring. Most of us know about not letting the kids touch the top of the burner, but what else is there to look out for? Well, in the kitchen, for preventing burn injuries, there's hot water from a tap, microwaves where you get superheated food, hot coffee, hot tea, hot food, those kinds of things, grease fires from just having something on the stovetop catch on fire. Well, the first preventative measure that I'd like to show you is at the stovetop. One of the very best things you can do is remember to turn your pot handles in towards the center of the stove. One of the other things that you can do at the stovetop is actually to remember to cook on the back burner. That was easy. Simple and easy, isn't it? Yeah. Another important safety tip is to check the hot water that's coming out of your taps. Set your hot water heater to 120 degrees and also test the water. You can test it with your wrist. The skin on your wrist is about the same thickness as a child. So if it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your children. Keep a fire extinguisher handy. Small fire extinguisher to help you put out small kitchen fires. So Holly, when you get your whole family together in the kitchen, you can see how easy it is for kids to get scalded. So one of the best things to do is move our coffee cups and our hot food away from where kids can reach, out of, this, out of the edge of the counter. Gotta supervise your kids in the kitchen. Got lots of hot food and hot coffee. Know where your kids are. For older kids, set some boundaries about what they can be doing in the kitchen. And for younger kids, we might actually create a safety zone out of the entire okay. kitchen. Keep them out of the kitchen while you're cooking. Create some hot zones or some safety zones. Make sure that the kids stay away from the stovetop and the oven. Make sure you know, you know if the coffee pot's going that they're not near that. Toasters, microwave, Keep them away from all those places. Okay. Mom's gonna cook, guys. Let's get out of the hot zone. Let's get out of the hot zone. Thank you, Kirsten, for coming today. Everything we talked about seems really simple and effective. So I appreciate that. Just to recap, number one, make sure your water heater is set at the right temperature. Number two, create a hot zone. And number three, supervise your kids in the kitchen. So remember, fire and burn injuries in the kitchen are serious, but you can prevent them by these simple safety rules. Make them habits every time you're in the kitchen.